take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Good morning, good morning guys We are now coming into Uppsala Ontario that is We still got five and a half hours to go yet Before we make your home sweet home But uh, we're just cruising right along there I'm looking at a beautiful Peter build over there Yeah, that was a pretty nice looking Pete over there But yeah, this uh, here to the left used to be a truck stop here as well And that's all been closed down and demolished it looks like but Oh well, we're just out here cruising along and I think we're gonna make us a pit stop in Ignis though and probably uh, probably go in there and have us a breakfast. I'm starting to get a little hungry. And then on top of that, my fan keeps turning again today for some odd reason and I looked into it and it looks like it's got an electrical error somewhere so for some odd reason it's it's not uh, working there might be a wire broken somewhere or that electrical switch is shot one or the other so I'm not too sure what's going on but I might call the shop and see if we can get us a uh, switch and uh, I might just change it myself. I might go down there and just grab it. Change it myself and find out to see if that will fix it. If it does fix it, then uh, we know that's what it was. But if that doesn't fix it, then we will have to book a truck and uh, to get it looked at and see what's going on. I just started doing that here this morning as I took off. So I don't know. Guess we'll find out. But let's make our way down to Ignis and then we'll go in there and have breakfast. Alright guys, it's time to get out of here. We had us a little bit of a break here, had us breakfast. And man, this looks like this is very bumpy here. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of ice underneath here. <laughs> It'll take me a little bit here to get to the road. <laughs> Yeah, that is very bumpy here. That is for sure. I definitely would not want to come in here with speed. I guarantee you that All right, we gotta wait. Oh that guy wants to turn off. All right, he wants to go into the truck stop there, so I guess we'll continue on here and We'll make our way home sweet home. We got 434 uh, kilometers to go and we'll be home sweet home yes indeed so let's make our way home <clears throat> looks like it could be uh, snowing anytime soon but so far that's not doing it that's good Speed limit I don't ahead. need any snow that's for sure but anyways we gotta make our way home sweet home so we're gonna do that I <clears throat> still can't figure out why my fan won't shut up. I already looked it up and it's saying everything is good. So I don't get it why it's still not shutting off. So, oh well. Guess we'll have to find out later. I already got my uh, <clears throat> truck kind of booked into the shop. Or at least I want to. So that turbo... Uh, by the turbo there is an oil line there to cool the uh, or lubricate the uh, <clears throat> the uh, turbo and everything and that one is leaking a little bit there so we need to find out what's going on see what's happening if that hose is broke or what but something isn't right well guys things have changed a little bit I was gonna go out on uh, Sunday right away is doing a reset and go again but uh, my fan keeps turning again I can't get it to shut off and it, uh, it you know before when I had issues with it it would go off after a while right and uh, it would also say that the uh, code for the clutch 
for the fan clutch was inactive and now it keeps saying it's active so I don't think that's gonna actually go away so uh, I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna book in the truck for Monday to put it in the shop get that fixed and also buy my turbo the oil line is uh, leaking there quite a bit so uh, I don't know if it got damaged there last week when that uh, turbo gasket got replaced or if they just forgot to tighten it up or what happened there but uh, we need to get it looked at and get it fixed and uh, I also do need to get my electronic login so I'm going to try and see if I can arrange that for Monday to do my training on Monday if we can arrange that then uh, we'll get that all taken care of and then we'll be good to go right keep our fingers crossed that we will be anyways so it looks like we will be sitting home till Tuesday at least which is fine with me I guess I had a good week so uh, get a little bit of family time in and enjoy the time at home yes indeed but we are getting closer to Manitoba we are already past Vermilion Bay Ontario we only have about two and a half hours worth of driving to do yet and then we'll be home sweet home I might might decide to make a pit stop and fly the drone again a little bit I might I just might do that but we'll see we'll see here in a minute Hey, this tune is dedicated to all the great truck driving songs and singers of the past. I just crossed Fraser Creek at one o'clock today. No one riding with me, so there wasn't much to say. I looked into that West Coast mirror and saw a nice rainbow. And by the way, here comes three big semis in a row. That girl I left in Little Rock left me with a smile So I grabbed my breath mints off the dash and I thought of her a while The last thing that she said to me was, Theodore, go slow And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row I wonder if this Peterbilt could talk, what would it say? Would it tell me about the sights it's seen across the USA? Hey, I hear Stone Cold Fingers playing on the radio. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. I hope I can gear this old truck down, cause there's a cop. Though I could have used a little more speed to get me to the top Of Mon Eagle where a few have died and left us feeling low And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Beating through the windshield, melting my dentine. So I pulled down the sun visor and it fell between my knees. A picture of that truck stop waitress we all knew was Flo. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. Someone on the CB is cussing them orange cones and the brake check up ahead. Is making my tires moan I see that black man holding up a sign And it reads slow And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Will they ever finish Highway 59? I sure don't know And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Man, I can't believe this construction we're in a hex at fifth gear. It's here somewhere. Man, I gotta get back to Little Rock. I 
wonder what ever happened to old Flo. Let's try this again, guys. I think my battery on my phone was getting low. And I think that was one of the reasons why this thing was starting to go dead on me here a little bit. So I think that was the reason why we weren't able to uh, get a good screenshot there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to come down here. I'm seeing the height. We're still fairly high, so let's raise the camera up a little bit. And let's go back there and see if we can if we can uh, possibly uh, look at that house again. I don't know if we will put that video footage on the, on with this clip, but uh, let's raise the camera a little bit. Yeah. So let's go even a little bit lower. Where is my drone? All right, we're looking for it. Let's go back. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see it was hiding behind my door up here. So let's go that away a little bit. Let's go have a look at that house up there that I was looking at there for a minute ago. I think it was my battery that was dead on my on my uh, phone here and that was one of the reasons why it wasn't recording. But let's go have a look at that house up there. I wanted to see that house up there. I don't want to go too fast, but I just wanted to have a look at that. See what's happening over there. Wow, yeah, you can you can really have a look at that, that's for sure. I don't want to hit something, so I just kind of want to go in between these trees up here and go have a look at this guy's house yeah wow ha that's amazing eh well I think we're gonna go ahead and go up into the air because uh, actually you know what that's back her up a little bit because I don't want to be hanging in those trees up there so let's back her up into the lake a little bit and let's get up into the air I don't know if anybody's home over there but uh, we're gonna go ahead and have a take a look at this guy's place there I saw some other buildings over there let's turn that way a little bit yeah he's got some more buildings up there so yeah let's get her up into the air I think we're gonna get out of here pretty soon anyways yeah let's turn her back around and bring her back home yeah I don't know if I'm gonna show this actual stuff or not but we'll give it a shot we're right over there so oh well, there we are so let's come back over here hammer down hammer down that away we're parked right there you see the highway right beside us here yep there we are anyways we're going to get out of here we're going to land this thing and then uh we'll take off back home we'll go back home sweet home there we are guys yeah there we are I hear the drone there it is alright I'm gonna press the land button and it's gonna land and uh, we will get out of here guys hey guys we're here at my dad's place now and he made barbecue look at that yes indeed looks like a really nice barbecue too so we're gonna get to eating as you guys saw we were at my dad's place earlier and uh he invited us for a nice barbecue so we really really enjoyed it and uh i haven't told you guys yet i don't think so anyways but uh, we had gotten inspected there at the uh, border of Ontario and Manitoba there in West Hawk. Yes, we did. And I got quite a story for you guys. And I'm going to be sharing that on tomorrow's vlog. Because I didn't record anything for Saturday. So uh, I am going to be... Uh, Releasing that cl the clips from the uh, inspection and all that uh, at, on Saturday. So uh, Yeah, we got quite an interesting story for you guys 
just going to tease you guys a little bit. We uh, failed our inspection on the trailer. So if you want to know what happened, you're going to have to watch tomorrow's video. <laughs> yep, we sure did fail our inspection on the trailer. So anyways, I videotaped the whole spiel there of my uh, experience there with the scale. I asked him if it was okay to uh, videotape it and he said, yep, no problem. So we went ahead and did that and uh, I decided, you know what, let's give you guys a little teaser of it today just letting you know what's happening and then you can watch it tomorrow find out what's happening and I'll give you my thoughts and all that stuff on tomorrow's video so have a good one everybody and we'll see you on the next one I'm sure you'll be watching <laughs>